What's up guys, Mario with Technology. Today I am here with my first episode of the iOS 7 Compatible Cydia Tweaks for Evasion 2013. So I'm going to show you guys three tweaks and two bad tweaks in this episode and a total of five tweaks. Remember, at any time, these could be perfectly working on iOS 7 and I'll always be making update videos for all of these tweaks. Alright guys, so the first tweak I'm going to show you guys is called My Y7. This is a very nice app to have when you're on uh, a cell phone plan that does not um, offer tethering services to you and you yes, tethering is something that you need. Uh, this is an app that I used to use on my iPhone 4 or 4S, I don't remember, that didn't, uh, when I was on AT&T and I didn't have a tethering plan, but once I got my iPhone 5 or something between there, I actually got a plan change. I got the AT&T Share plan, which gives me tethering. Now you can USB tether, Bluetooth tether, and just create a Wi-Fi hotspot from this app. And you, it's a really nice app. You can download it for 20, you can download it for free and you get a one week free trial. And after that, you have to pay $20 to download or purchase the um, the license to actually use it. But yeah, guys, this is a very nice app to have or a tweak. I, I should call it, it's more of an app, but it's Available in the city store in the Big Boss repo, I believe, and just search up my Y7, and it should pop up for your iOS 7 device. And yeah, guys, this is a perfectly working app on iOS 7, uh, jailbroken. So yeah, guys. All right, guys. So the next tweak is called My 3G. Now this is a perfectly working uh, tweak or app on iOS 7, but it does not uh, use the uh, the whole five-inch screen real estate. Uh, for some reason, you can see that it's very. Uh, dysfunction on the screen I guess you could say but my 3G is just an app that restricts a certain app from using uh, 3G or LTE or 4G whatever you're using so you just have to check the app that you want such as Netflix Netflix uses a lot of data if you don't know that uh, which I've experienced just watching a 20 minute TV show takes up almost 300 500 MB of data and if you have a uh, plan that really restricts you from using all your data this is my an app that you might want to have because it stops as soon as you switch over to the 3g or 4g or lt it restricts from all those apps for using data which is a very nice feature to have and i wish uh, ios or apple would just integrate this into their uh, device so the next app or tweak is called Activator. Activator is really messed up right now. Uh, before it was working for me, but today it's not been working. And you know I showed you guys the Touch ID feature on uh, the... I made a video yesterday or two days ago and you can see that activator is not working and to actually use touch ID uh, you need activator to use it uh, which is really weird so I'll show you guys that it's actually not working so when I long hold it just brings me to uh, Siri which uh, it's really weird because it just like randomly just stopped working and I was just really surprised because it was working perfectly for the past three days and it just stopped working today which was really really weird uh, so I might email or Ryan Pitchurch uh, about what's going on with Activator. Activator is a very uh, good app that I usually use on a daily basis to really customize and use all the buttons to their features so you guys sorry if this part's out of focus for some reason but yeah, so Activator is sometimes working, sometimes not, and the app, uh, the repo to get it will be down in the description. Two bad tweaks that are not working or don't work at all. Uh, one is called Winterboard, if you guys don't know that already. Winterboard, it turns on, but there's no themes available for Winterboard, which it doesn't work. And the next Dreamboard, if, if you even click on it, it doesn't open up, which is pretty stupid that they even have that in the City of Store so. So those are two bad tweaks that have not been working for me. So you guys, these are five tweaks that have been working or have not been working on iOS 7. Remember, I was always I will make more episodes like this. This was just episode one. Episode two, three, maybe 40 will be coming soon. That's a lot of videos. Uh, but um, this was the uh, five tweaks, and I will always be making updates on these. Uh, on the Cydia tweaks I mentioned to you guys. So if some if Activator is like fully activated and it's working on iOS 7, I will make a video on that showing you guys how to get it. Um, yeah, so Activator is in beta mode if you didn't know that. But yeah, guys, that's about it for this video. Make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe for more jailbreaking videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, peace, guys.